What's up, everybody? This is Eddie from Suicide Silence right here, this guy. And uh, this is my seven of 30. All right, here we go. 24, eight. Let's do six, three, 11, and 30, and 26. I'm gonna always have to go with Guar. Anytime I've seen Guar live, they come in, not very literally, with balls a swinging and uh, you know, guns a blazing, a bunch of really cool theatrics on stage. Guar, man, they're, they're, they are, they were the shit, man. Rest in peace, Dave. Have I ever worn a costume? No, I've not. But I see that that's the thing to do out here, and uh, uh, I think it's cool. I like to see costumes. I actually just took a picture with a guy in a nurse's costume a little bit ago, and that was pretty cool. I may have done something like that back, back in my festival-going days. Oh, shit. If I could see any album played full in, at any festival, I would have to say that it's got to be Cowboys from Hell, Pantera, front to back, just nailed. I would love to see that at any point. Scariest thing that's ever happened to me at a festival. Um, actually, a couple days ago at Copenhagen, um, the wind was so high, the wind was so strong that uh, it was blowing the whole backdrop. And this is before we went on, and uh, I was sitting underneath uh, watching Behemoth play, and the wind was full force. It was just blowing their, their whole stage rig, and the, it seemed like the, the stage may have was about to collapse or something like that, but I was, I was a little terrified, but you know, it's Behemoth. You stick around, you watch it, you don't care. Smallest festival crowd. Okay, so 2006, um, I was on tour with Suicide Silence and my old band All Shall Perish, and we ended up playing this uh, festival that was called a festival, but it ended up being just a promoter who uh, figured that getting, in order to get a, a touring package, he had, to, he had to go ahead and call it a festival and put a million local bands on it. Um, we didn't go on till 11 o'clock, Suicide Silence didn't go on till midnight, and um, sure enough, there was a riot that ensued. I'm not going to name any names because there still might be warrants out. You never know. The hottest festival I've ever played. Um, it's going to be Mayhem Festival in the United States. Um, we go through Arizona every year. And every year, Arizona, around that time of year, mid-July, late, late July, it's about 120 to 125 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which I'm not really sure what that translates into Celsius, but it's fucking hot. The biggest circle pit that I've ever seen is going to happen today. Even though they're telling me I can't do one, I'm gonna make it happen. I don't know how, but I'm gonna make it happen. Just look out for one of these anytime you're seeing me do my thing and you know that I'm calling for a circle pit so hopefully today but uh, other than that I'm gonna have to say grass pop they actually went all the way around the uh, monitor system actually uh, the console the, the 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 console that does all the front of house stuff which I don't even know if any of you know what that means but it's the big console that sits right behind the stage and I remember Mitch Lucker got everybody to get all the way around it so Let's do better. Next time you see me, do better. Who do you think Rock Sound should do this shit with next? Check out the com. Leave your comments. Uh, who do you think Rock Sound should do? Uh, who do you think Rock Sound should do it? Uh, who do you think? Who do you think Rock Sound should do this with next? Leave your comments below. Let us know what you think.